What's up guys, welcome to your 36th After Effects tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to use Adobe's built-in presets. Now in the last tutorial I showed you guys how to make your own presets and apply it to like any uh, composition you want but uh, I don't know if you knew this or not but Adobe also has um, probably hundreds of built-in presets and aside from these built-in presets you can also um, download different presets from the internet so let me show you how to do that go ahead and get any clip you want and then go ahead and make sure you highlight the layer that you want to apply the preset to after this you want to go up to animation and browse presets and what this is going to do is take you to all the um, well preset um, custom made uh, how do I say it Adobe's built in there we go built in presets so here is a uh, well they're pretty much self-explanatory right now here's some built-in backgrounds that Adobe has um, here's some built-in behaviors which is just like effects kinda and um, again you got some custom transitions um, custom text effects which I'm going to be showing you in a little bit but for now um, a simple thing we can do is go ahead and put image creative and this pretty much just uh, it, it like colorizes it and let me go ahead and pick one right here colorize infrared that should show up pretty good so go ahead and double click that and as you can see um, this is a built in preset that has a bunch of different custom values on it and you're not just stuck with those values if you go ahead in your effects you now have all of these things right here that you can manipulate just like you want so if you say alright I want this preset but I wish it you know I wish uh, that the color was a little different you can just go ahead and change that and bam look at that so that's one way you can work with the custom built-in presets again that's animation browse presets so not only can you um, apply these built-in presets to videos but you can also do it with text and that's one of the main things um, I use the presets for so let's go ahead and delete this and let's type some text on our screen but um, this is some text and soon enough it will look like the matrix make sure you type every word wrong or else it won't work and now I'm just kidding by the way now let's go ahead and put that in the middle of the screen move our current time indicator to the beginning and now I'm gonna show you guys how to apply presets to text and this is gonna give you some sweet um well animations so instead of using the animator like before, I'm going to show you guys. Just highlight this text layer right here. Go up to animation, browse presets, and in your text folder right here. If you aren't in your text folder, just move back until you get in your text folder. And go ahead and click this. And then go ahead and um, these are all the things you can do with text. Probably the one you're going to be using most often is animate in this is how you animate text in I don't know if you could have guessed that or not but um, my two favorite ones are espresso I which you can see the preview right over here and also raining characters in and this reminds me of like a matrix kind of thing so um, as you can see the uh, previews over here but if you double click it it's gonna apply to whatever layer you have selected so now if you go ahead and press E you see that the effects are already applied to that so go ahead and play this press and spacebar and as you can see my text now rains down and all I had to do is click a couple buttons so this is a lot easier than using the animator um, just go ahead and click a button instead of trying to animate all that yourself and again if you want this to move faster or slower um, all of the properties are right in your little um, drop down panels right here so uh there we go I shouldn't have messed with that my animation stopped but again let me zoom in on this but again anytime you want to use those text presets um, these can give you some real cool intros and stuff so don't forget about that and that's that for that tutorial so again you can ab apply um, custom presets to both um, compositions and also text so thank you for watching this tutorial don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.